Now that we have covered the positive displacement pumps, let's check out the kinetic pumps, also known as dynamic. As the name implies, there must be movement which converts into either high pressure or into high velocity and work. So the most common ones are centrifugal pumps. We have either axial or radial. So let's check them out. The axial is the simplest one. It's direct application of work to the fluid and this can be used to increase the pressure. So let's say we have this pump right here and we want to move the liquid from this point to point A, which is here. So you, what you will do is essentially get from the suction, move this one, this impeller or pumping system, it will move the fluid higher. And if you do it, actually you should see that this is work in movement, so the work is going to be transferred to the fluid. The fluid must either increase in height or increase in pressure or a mixture of both. Here is, here is an example. This is the suction. Fluid will go in. This will push along up here. Let's talk about the radial one. As the name implies, we have a circle or a radius right here. The rotation goes as here and the discharge goes here. So let's check this out a little bit more technical. The inlet goes here. This is the suction eye, which is a point in which there is low pressure before it goes into higher pressure. We have the, let's say, impeller or blades. It will start moving the fluid. And because of the centrifugal force, you will increase the work and pressure content. And then you will have a higher pressure system. So the discharge will have much more velocity or pressure. Let's check out some photos. You can see this is the inlet, the eye, it goes inside, so the, it goes inside, and you have this plate. It starts moving very, very fast. So what it does is essentially the fluid doesn't have any way out, so it will increase in pressure. So it starts moving clockwise, clockwise, and eventually goes to this charge. Another example right here, we, we this is the pressure, uh, let's say, isotherm, no, isotherm, no. This is the pressure system. Blue implies low pressure, red and purple implies high pressure. So at the beginning, you have very low pressure, and then as you start moving it, as it goes farther from the center, it will increase in pressure until eventually you move it all the way out here. Another example, this is much more detail. You have this suction right here. This is the shaft or yeah, the shaft right here, and it will start moving. So this is the centrifugal force. Liquid goes in, goes centrifugated, and it goes out of the pump right here. Go here. Same example. You got the shaft. It's rotating. Fluid so goes in, gets centrifugated, increases in pressure, and goes out. Now this is a little bit on the model on centrifugation pumps, let's check out in the following video.